Welcome back and welcome to Prashanti. The morning begins well and the entire work week is well and good if we begin with a word on Bhagwan Satya Sai Baba. Here is a question for you. What is a Shiridi Sai connection? If you know the answer, obviously you're brilliant. If not, no worries. Let's get the answer from Mrs. Nalini Bhatt, who is the gracious founder and the hostess of this upcoming segment called Prashanti. By the way, this will be first of the two-part series. We at Prashanti offer our humblest pranams at the most sacred lotus feet of Bhagawan Shri Satya Sai Baba. Welcome brothers and sisters, this is Nalini. Previously on Prashanti, we brought you the incident of Satya playing the role of the famous dancer Rushendra Mani, where he dressed himself as the dancer and performed the most amazing task of picking up a needle with his eyelids from the floor while balancing lighted diyas kept on top of a bottle on his head. In today's Prashanti, we will bring you Satya's connections with Shirdi Sai Baba while he was still at school. After the dance performance, Satya's frame spread like wildfire in and around Bukapatnam. He was invited to repeat the act at other places too. Wherever he staged the show, he was heaped with silver cups and gold medals. In the beginning, Satya's mother and siblings were thrilled with the tributes of praise and the awards, but soon they started fearing the evil eyes of people. Unfortunately, their fears seemed to come true when suddenly Satya developed a high fever and a frightful eye affliction. His eyes became swollen, bloodshot and uh, tears flowed profusely from them. The evil eyes had done their work. While he was thus afflicted, one night his mother woke up suddenly when she heard heavy footsteps. She felt that somebody entered the house wearing wooden sandals and went straight to Satya's bed. But she could not see anyone. Puzzled, she immediately ran to Satya and instinctively placed her hand on his forehead to check his temperature. Wonder of wonders, gone was Satya's burning fever. The mother brought out a lamp and looked into Satya's eyes. Miracle of miracles, the eye affliction had subsided too. As you might recall, in previous episodes, we brought instances of Satya uh, displaying his connections to his past avatar of Shirdi Sai Baba. The mysterious way in which Satya got over the eye ailment shows the same connection. Shirdi Baba was known to wear wooden sandals. The sound of heavy wooden sandals that the mother heard is a proof of the fact that it was none other than Shirdi Sai Baba who had cured the boy. <laughs> ईश्वर कह लो अल्लाह का नाम दे दो से या यीशु पुकार लो हम सब का मालिक वही एक पीपल केम टू शिरडी बाबा व्हेन दे वर फेस विद प्रीडिकमेंट्स एंड प्रॉब्लम्स सिमिलरली सत्या वुड बी ऑफ्टन सॉट आउट बाय पीपल फेसिंग प्रॉब्लम्स हियर इज वन सच इंसिडेंट a man had ab abandoned his crippled child, not being able to look after him. After some time, he regretted his act and searched frantically to find his child. Finally, having heard of the wonder boy Satya's divine powers, the man approached Satya. You will hear about the whereabouts of your son in three days, Satya assured him, and he would return in eight days. True to Satya's prediction, in three days, the man received the news from a local government officer that his son was found uh, and eight days later, he was brought home. These incidents happened when Satya was barely 12 to 13 years old. Satya had been preparing to reveal his avatarhood to the world soon. 
who could suppress the fragrance of a jasmine in bloom thank you for watching prashanti jai sai ram sai hamara hum sai ke aisa prem hamara Sikh Isa